Hi everyone, it's Ayosia here. Happy Monday. I hope um, you had a good weekend. And um, yeah, I'm here with the three finished boho journals that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. I uh, did a couple of Craft With Me videos with this one. So um, they're all finished now and I'm really pleased with how they turned out. They're super colorful and yeah they make me really happy so i'm gonna list them in my etsy shop probably today and so i thought i'd come on here and uh, do a flip through of them so there's that one there's this one and i'll flip through them all anyway they're, they're very similar the covers are probably the most different things but i'll start with the one that i did the um craft with me videos video for so it was this one this one okay okay so this is the finished journal um that's a cover which if you've seen the video you saw me make and it's just a combination of different fabrics this um section here is from a cushion cover and then i sewed on other bits of fabrics there that's a, a cluster that's inspired by jessica rapp from two silver oranges and um, uh, so I sewed that on there onto the cover it's just got two signatures very simple binding I bound it straight into the cover and that's the back again with uh, different fabrics stitched together that's silk um, yeah and then it has this uh, this is the first time I've tried one of these um, I don't even know what they're called, this <laughs> dangle, this uh, charm or tassel, I suppose. And it's just uh, attached with some embroidery thread there and then a book ring and then lots of different beads. So there's a bead there with a feather. Now, I think there are some countries where it's not okay to post a feather. Um, I think Australia is one of them. So if you, Maybe if you're interested in purchasing a journal, you know that you're from a country where that's not the case, where that wouldn't be okay. Please let me know and I'll just take it off. Um, there's some beads there that I made up and a tassel there with different fabrics and ribbon wound around with wire and my attempt at making a boho bead. It's all very new to me. So, um, yes. And then it's closed with a a tea dyed ribbon tie that's long enough that you can wind it round if you want to um, and then that's the side it's got a few beads and these ones I made from paper actually paper and ribbon and wire so they're really light they're just like a little fun thing to hang off that's hanging off a paper clip and there are some other beads and other charms there's some little little beads there and there yeah and fabric tabs and so on journal's quite simple on the inside um, so you open it up and there's a pocket here again made in a similar style to the cover where there's just lots of different things sewn together and in here is an envelope which I it's just done one of these I forgot to show that in my craft with me video it's just one of these that I you know took apart I think if you have an envelope punch it would be obviously you wouldn't you wouldn't need to do this that you get the idea you, you open it out and then I just attach lots of different fabrics and stitch them on and then when I was done I stuck it back together again so that's the envelope with lots of different things and in here I think is um, just a really fun colorful postcard put in there and I reinforced the envelope with some card on the inside <clears throat> and then I included just this panel this is mount board of um, I did a large painting on some mount board a little while ago but I didn't I never completed it so I just cut it into pieces because if you happen to be on a page where you need a little bit more support then that would work so I just put that in there so that's in the pocket 
And the front, uh, this is wallpaper backed with some um, vintage paper. And then I stitched all the way around. I'm talking through this one in depth and the others I'll just flip through quickly. And this is a, an image of my artwork. I, I'm still having some issues when I print out on card. It's not as vibrant. So this is printed out on photo paper. And I finally have an image that I'm happy with the vibrancy of the color of. So I printed these out on photo paper, but then it's not easy to write on. So I then backed them with card and then stitched round. So it's an image, but it's also a journaling card. It's just um, uh, one of my artwork pieces. And I just like what I've written there kind of represents this journal about just you know celebrating color and you know all that stuff so yeah that's uh i put that there on the front front cover there each journal has got one of these and then one of those paper beads things um and then another of my artwork again this is printed out on photo paper and i just thought this image was very boho <laughs> with the different colors and and again, it's just celebrating colour and self-expression and, yeah, all that good stuff. So that's there. Again, that's backed with cards, so you can actually write on it as well. This is Silk, Silk Tab. See what I mean? Now, this is printed out on card um, and it's not as vibrant. So this is an image that is the same image printed out onto photo paper. I don't know why I'm talking about this now. Um, but yeah, I'm always transparent about these things. Um, and I would much rather have an image that looked like that. But I never translates onto cards. So if anybody knows what... I, I'm probably missing something in my printer settings or... I don't know. But for a, a vintage style journal, this is fine. You know, so it blends in with the tea dyed paper. But there are times where I do want a clearer image. It's so strange. It's the same printer but it has a different result on different paper but anyway that's that but this is just this is on card so you can write on it you can write over it you can write on it it's one it's an image of some uh some artwork i did a little while ago and a, a boho bead very roughly made it's actually got paper on the inside um yeah it's just a little fun thing it's not taking itself too seriously there's a flip up tip in with some upholstery fabric, some other fabric, some little sequins sewn on and bits of paper stitched together and some lace. Uh, fabric tab there. And this is a journaling card. This paper was gifted to me by April at Pink Old Bird. I absolutely love it. There are some bits and pieces. In fact, the stack of paper she sent me in the happy mail really inspired these journals because they were so colorful and so beautiful that i i thought i would um do something colorful as well so this is a, a journaling card with this gorgeous fabric and then i stitched on a couple of pieces of fabric there um and april sent me that fabric as well and then i attached this bead so it just hangs out the side side of the journal and it's backed with tea dyed paper and then there's a fabric tab there with a little a little charm thing there. This is another of my an artwork image printed out onto card. Um, and you can write on the back. It's distressed ink to the edges. That's silk as well. Another Artwork image printed out onto card. Silk. This is a journaling card I made with by collaging lots of different papers and just really colourful and then stitched and then backed it with paper and stitched around the edge. So that's really sturdy card that is. Um I can't remember if I said this journal has 80 side, 80 pages front and back. So it is smaller than my usual journals. And the pages are, oh, I don't know the measurements. I will put the measurement, let me see. I'll put the measurement in the description. Well, let me do it now. 
almost eight and three quarter inches long and about six uh, 0.25 inches, six and a quarter inches wide. But I'll put the put the measurements in the description box below. Where was I now? Oh, yeah, I was here. So yeah, the pages are smaller than A5. They're narrower than A5 in size. So yeah, it's pretty blank on the inside. A top spot here and another of those collaged cards. And that's the first signature. Second signature begins with this um, collaged page. I was sent this. I was given gifted this um, really vintage oriental paper. And um, I then added some more collaged pieces as well and stitched them together and backed it with this vintage paper there. This is another... Um, print of my artwork again I printed this out on photo paper so it's super vibrant and backed it with paper so you can write on on it there's a ruffle there embroidered piece there um yeah, this is just an embroidered piece uh, which I attached one to that side and that side and stitched it together. So it makes a really nice tab. Yeah, lots of blank pages to make your own. I thought the journal had so many colourful elements, I'd keep the pages quite really simple. Pretty charm there. This is another collaged card. ruffle and that's it so that's the first journal and to close it you can just tie them together like that or you can wind it round if you want to and do it that way and so forth or tie um, tie it that end you could tie it that end or this end it's long enough to do both so that's the first one So that's, I'm going to list this one as journal one. So I'm going to list them in the order that I'm showing them. So that's journal one, boho journal one. And let's call this uh, boho, let me do an orange themed one then. This is boho journal two. So this one, again, has got a bit of a, a cushion cover stitched on, another fabric cluster there, and I've hand sewn some beads onto there. Um, that's the spine, and that's the back, and the, yeah, it's just different things stitched together, and this is the charm, there's that, that, uh, and a tassel, the, there's little jingly bells in this one as well, and no feather, there's no feather on this one, and some fabrics. Okay. And that's the inside of this one. That's the cover. That's the fabric covered envelope. Oh, there's nothing in this one. I'm going to put, I'll put something in there. A card to help with writing. Seeing that this is wallpaper. I'm going to try and flip through a bit quicker. This is a tuck spot for some of the fabric April sent me and other bits and pieces. And another journaling card with a bead hanging off the side. You can write on the back. Really like this one. Little charm attached with a safety pin. This is a tip in. I hand stitched some beads on there. It's pretty similar, really. 
just the collage cards are, are different. Oops. What have I done? I thought I was to, uh, clip two pages together. I'll do this quickly. End of the first signature, beginning of the second signature. I attached a fabric cluster there just with a paper clip, so that's removable. There's a pocket sewn on there and a couple of bits in there. I love that tab. <clears throat> a tuck spot here with just some pretty paper. Another of my artwork. Um, this is, uh, oh, I stapled this one. This is some paper that April sent me, and I just stapled on one of those fabric clusters. And there's a charm on the end of that paper clip, another journaling card. There's a tuck spot in there. Just put some papers in there, and so that's that one. That's journal two. I really love the colours in this one. I love them all actually. And this is journal three. So that's the cover of this one. That's the spine. That's the back. And this is the charm. This has got a feather on. And a tassel wound with wire with different fabrics and ribbons and things. And that's a side. That's the inside of this one. Pocket. A fabric covered envelope with some wallpaper and this one again that mounts card painted these are painted with acrylics and a bit of collage that's gold paint there this is wallpaper back to vintage paper and stitched around the edges Little fun boho bead. There's a flip up there. I love the combo of these fabrics of, of these fabrics against the grey upholstery fabric. I really like that. A tuck spot in here. So this bit is the, the tuck that's attached to the paper and there's just a couple of uh, papers there, journaling card. End of the first signature, beginning of the second signature. It's a ruffle sewn on there. <clears throat> this is another of those cards with the beads. Oh, yep, I knew I shouldn't have done that because now my string is. Um, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'll fix that later. <laughs> uh, different things. And it's backed with paper and has a bead hanging off the edge. Oh yeah, that was on the other side, some of my artwork. Little bead there. Yeah. So there you go, that's journal number three. So I'm gonna have them all listed and there are bits of uh, 
strings and things coming off because of all the fabrics I used. So that's, thank you for watching. That's journal one, journal two, and journal three. So these will be listed in my shop. It's been so much fun to make these. I, I do know that they won't be everyone's cup of tea because of how colorful they are, but you know, if you do like colorful things and these are the journals for you, and if not, that's totally fine as well. So um, thank you so much uh, for watching and I shall be back soon. Oh yes, I meant to say I have some little TN Traveller notebook inserts I'm making and also I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, so I'm currently working on a few couple of things for that. Um, I usually have a giveaway, it was my birthday earlier in the month so I usually have a giveaway uh, around my birthday time and also in honour of 600 subscribers which for me is absolutely amazing i only started with three and that was my husband and two daughters <laughs> so it's really exciting that i have so many people that would want to give their time to watch these videos and um yeah i do feel like we're learning together with these journals certainly it's it's felt like a learning uh, process so um yeah really appreciate you all and i shall see i shall be back soon lots of love bye bye